Hello and welcome everyone. This is Mike. I am the founder and CEO of Sweet Dash. I want to welcome you today to what we call First Principles with Sweet Dash. And this is a foundational training to get you up to speed with the principles, the concepts of Sweet Dash in a way that will plant seeds and turn on light bulbs and get you going on your Sweet Dash journey as fast as humanly possible. I want you to think about this training as if you just came in off the street to work for Sweet Dash. This is the kind of introduction we might give a new employee from the very beginning. The first morning, we might sit them down and say, okay, here are the basics of what you're dealing with and what you need to start thinking about to understand the platform and get up to speed with all the functionalities. Let's start here and then we'll build on top of that. I would urge you not to skip this. If you think you can skip this and then later you have frustrations, I would say it's because you skipped this. Because it's foundationally designed to work with automation and create systems and processes that can be replicated over and over, Sweet Dash may work a little differently than what you have experienced in the past. This is not the past. This is not the way things have always been done. This is the future. These are new concepts that open up new doors and new possibilities. And it will help you tremendously to get these concepts under control so you really have a good foundation as we move forward through the rest of your Sweet Dash journey. Okay, so let's look at how this training is laid out. First, we'll look at a portal overview and just help you understand what a portal is. Then we'll move on to CRM concepts, then forms and the functionality of forms and how they work inside the platform. Then we'll look at dashboards and pages, the differences between those and how they are used. We'll spend some time looking at custom menus and how those change based on your needs. And then we'll explore automation concepts to make sure that you really understand how this platform is different and how it can become the operating system for your organization. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with portal overview. Now, portal is just a generic term to mean anything that's beyond, really, your website. So it's a digital presence that's beyond your website. Typically, it's functional in a way that it can identify a variety of users by either their login or by the way that they enter the portal and then dynamically adjust based on who that person is. So a good example and a way to think about it is something like Facebook. So Facebook has the same login page for every single person, but depending Depending on who logs in, it shows them their content, their groups, their friends, etc. So a portal works much the same way. It can have parts and pieces that are available in a non-logged way or non-authenticated way, but more commonly it's a place where your customers or your staff can log in and then they retrieve or access certain information or assets that are designed or made available for them specifically. And that's why it's so powerful and advantageous because you can design workflows that are exactly perfect for your organization, your customers, your clients, your staff, and not just those categories in a general sense, but the capability to provide unlimited different experiences based on the type of customer or the access level for that particular customer or staff member. There are no limits on how many different configurations you can create to accommodate the type of client that you are creating an experience or a workflow for, you can do that in any number of ways for any number of different types of clients or on your staff side, you can do the same thing. You can onboard staff in a certain type of way, depending if they are a trainee or a new employee or a new manager, etc. Additionally, the power of Sweet Dash allows you to create and codify your internal systems and processes and define them, design them, and roll them out in a way that they are systemic. Your processes are repeatable and consistent over time, always working the same. And as you continue to modify and refine, they just get better and better. And this serves your customers uniquely and professionally, but it also provides your team with a well-defined set of tools and workflows that there are no questions. You've done your job as a business architect. You've done your job to design the operating system of your organization. 
so that your employees know exactly what to do and what order things go in. And when you've reached a level of refinement in which many of your systems are automated, then you only need your employees to follow directions in a smaller and smaller number of scenarios. And the system, the automations, will take over from them after they make their decisions. And much of what used to be manual work and repetitive admin type work can be taken care of in an automated way in milliseconds by your operating system, your platform, by SuiteDash. All right, so let's dig a little bit deeper. Let's talk in terms of your website for your organization or business. Now, that website is exposed to the general public or what we'll call them your target audience. Okay, so these people here are your target audience. And your website is there to expose your organization or business to them and provide that information. The information it provides is the same for every single member of that target audience, the public, because as they visit your website, you really don't know who they are. They are just a target audience of unknown people or unknown targets, as we'll refer to them. So in this scenario, you are very limited as to what you can do with your website. There's only one avenue. You can just put information there that's generic to every single member of the target audience. But when you add SuiteDash, you add a dynamically adaptive portal which can interact with this target audience, with these unknown targets, and bring them into your organization via workflows and processes that you design based on interactions that these unknown targets have with things like forms or other onboarding type implementations. And based on their interactions and their answers or their responses or their choices, you can route them into different directions and adapt their journeys to uniquely cater to their exact needs. So during these onboarding implementations, these processes, you can filter your clients as they move through your forms or they move through certain doorways that you design, you can categorize them into client type A, type B, type C, type D, etc. And based on that categorization, you can route them into different funnels, different directions, different experiences inside that portal. And that experience can extend to things like the dashboards they're able to see or the pages or the files they're able to access, what the menu looks like, etc. So by using a dynamically adaptive portal like SuiteDash, we can pull that target audience in deeper into your organization and get to know them using things like forms and choices and doorways, etc. And then we can intelligently route those targets, which are now known targets to us because we know information about them, into different experiences based on their categorization. So that's the power of a CRM combined with a portal, combined with all the other tools that SuiteDash provides, in that it gives us a very deep set of tools to design workflows that are exactly perfect for each type of client that you encounter. But what's even more powerful is SuiteDash also works on your staff side. You can also design and develop workflows and permission structures based on the various types of staff you have or levels of access that you need to enforce among your staff. So as you're onboarding new staff or you need to change the permission for certain existing staff, you can just change the way they're categorized and therefore control access to toolkits, information, assets, files, etc based on how that staff member is categorized. And to take that one step further, you can also provide your staff members, your team, with these very well-defined tools, workflows, dashboards, project management tools, file management tools, etc., based on how they're categorized and what type of staff member you are designing that experience for. And this is how SuiteDash becomes the operating system of your organization. You're building onboarding and processing and categorization tools for you, both your customer slash client side and your staff side. You're managing the interaction between the customer side and the staff side, and you're designing and developing workflows that everyone participates in, but only at the level that you give them access for. 
And this can be on the level of very simple or it can be extended and built and layered to the levels of very complex based on the needs of your organization. And so this quote operating system of your organization is defined by a portal because it's a portal uniquely for certain elements of your client side. It's a portal uniquely to another process or system for your staff side. And for each person in your orbit, in your universe, this portal uniquely adapts itself to accomplish the job that you need it to accomplish in that particular use case. And so we've seen how the portal extends your digital capabilities and your powers and your professionalism beyond just your website. You can design workflows that work for your organization uniquely by customizing and streamlining each customer's experience. And then internally, you're going to be able to design, codify, streamline your internal systems and processes, which leads to more efficiency and more profit. And your team will love it because you can provide them with a well-defined set of tools and workflows and processes that they can follow with confidence. And when you put this all together, you are going to benefit tremendously as an organization. Okay, so that means we've covered the portal overview portion of the first principles training. And in the next video, we'll explore the foundational concepts of the CRM and how that relates to the platform's ability to become the operating system of your organization. Thanks everyone, we'll see you there.